a simple example of what you can do with document templates. I have a skeleton here that will provide the inputs for the document template. This is what the document template looks like. Uh, this is the node of the document template. If you look at the inputs, it's going to require something called a top, start point, end point. Um, top you can see is a plane. Start point you can see is a point. End point you can see is a point. So let's look at them here. So this is the top plane. You can see it's the, the top of the Lego surface there. Start point is the cylinder. End point is uh, just really providing the direction, not necessarily the length in this case. I guess uh, it could be done in different manners, but here's how I'm controlling the length. So the number of uh, knobs or pegs that I want, I'm specifying that. So if it's uh, if it only requires two, then it looks like this. But this is still the the end point out here. So again, that endpoint's more just the direction that the Lego block's going to go in. So one thing, uh, you could think of a document template as a power copy, but when you apply a document template, you're applying either a part to a product context or a product to a product context, so like a sub-assembly to a product. So in this case, I have some shape here, and I want to apply Lego blocks to it. And I have my plane, and I have, of course, several points and different lengths that will have to be applied. I'm instantiating a new Lego part each time. I'm selecting the top plane. I can select the start point and the end point. And then I need to select parameters so that I can choose the, the correct length. And I'll use the repeat option so I can continue and apply several. So my, my top plane is still the same. My start point may be a little different this time. And the number of knobs is going to be two still. I'll just continue this process until I have uh, you know, the whole level done. Okay, so that first level is complete, and then I'll, I'll do the second level. So the second level, you can see I have a plane here it, um, it came in with one of these uh, document templates in the past, so I'll just reuse that plane again. There you go. So that's kind of how a uh, document template can work. You can see that there's a new part for each instantiation that I've done. 
and I've created a, uh, a small prop structure. 